And now we need to determine the area. They say calculate the area of A, B, C, D. So I need to find the area of this entire figure. Now the area rule. Let me write down the area rule for you. The area rule is equal to a half, and you're writing it with me, multiplied by side 1, multiplied by side 2, multiplied by the sin of your included angle. Multiplied by the sin of your included angle. So I cannot go work with the area rule. I cannot find it if I don't have two sides and an included angle. Grade 12, you all understand what an included angle is now. So I have to work out the area first of this triangle here. Then I'm going to work out the area of this triangle here. And at the end, I'm going to add them together. What do I need for my area rule? Two sides and an included angle. Two sides and an included angle. So in triangle A, B, D. Here's your challenge. I will do triangle A, B, D. You are going to do triangle B, C, D. First watch as I do triangle A, B, D. So the area of triangle A, B, D is equal to a half multiplied by 3 multiplied by 9,5. Those are my two sides. Multiplied by the sin. What angle is included there? 112 degrees. Everybody, two sides and an included angle. We go to our calculators. 0 0.5 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 9.5 multiplied by the sin of 112 degrees. What do you get? If you got 13,21, you are magnificent. 13,21, obviously it is meters squared because I'm working with my area. I have P Monique Peterson from Allo Secondary. You already wrote down 13,21. That is fantastic. So Nazo, you got 13,21 also from Allo. I've got a lot of people who are sending through 13,21. I need to find the area now of which triangle? Say it. Angle B, C, D. The area of triangle B, C, D. Everybody. You're working. You first check, do I have two sides and an included angle? Do I have two sides and an included angle? I do. Because we worked out BC in our previous example. It was 14,05. Now look quickly. You can go use this side, 10,98, 14,05. And there's your included angle of 67. That is 10,98, 14,05 times, and then you're going to use this angle here. Okay, so come we go. You work out that area for me quickly, everybody. It is a half. You must do it before I do it. It's a half. What side are we going to use? 10,98 multiplied by 14,05. Multiplied by the sin of what is my angle in between those two sides? 67 degrees. Two sides and an included angle. That is what you need. Everybody on your calculators again. I have a half multiplied by 10.98 multiplied by 14.05 times the sin, not cos, sin of 67 degrees. What did you get? I got 71 centimeters 71 meter squared. Fantastic. C4 from Allo High School, you got 71 as well. And now, is this my answer? What was the question? The question was to find the area of A, B, 
CD. So we first worked out the area of this triangle here. Then we found the area of that triangle there. What must I do with these two areas? I just have to add them together. So at the end, you say the area of A, B, C, D is equal to 13,21 plus 71. And you must get an answer of 13.21 plus 71. And you got an answer of 84,21 meters squared. That is the area of your entire figure that they asked you. I took that area, I took that area, and I added them together to give me 84 comma 21. Just before we go to our next example, can I summarize what I've done with you now? Number one, when do I use the cos rule? Put it in your heads, put it in your brains. When I have three sides. When can I use the cos rule as well? When I have two sides and an included angle, included, my chin is the included angle. This is included. So it's three sides, two sides and an included angle. If you don't see that, grade 12s, it is the sin rule. Will you remember that? If you don't see that, it is the sin rule. When do I use the area rule? Two sides and an included angle angle. It's my two sides. My chin is my included angle. That is when I use the area rule. So we found the first example and by the response of what I got from the learners, you understand. Remember, perimeter is when you add the lengths of all the sides together. The perimeter is when I add the sides together. Now, I've got calculated the area. The perimeter will be 3 plus 14,05 plus another 14,05 plus 9,5. If I just ask you quickly to work out the perimeter for me. Everybody, perimeter means the lengths of all the sides too. Together. What is the perimeter? Do it on your calculators. It's going to be 3 plus 14,05 plus, do I have the length of the side? Yes, because it's equal to that one. So I add another 14.05 plus 9.5. What is my perimeter equal to? 40,6 meters. 40 comma six meters fantastic monique put peterson from mount view 40 comma six that's lovely donald you also from mount view you also got 40 comma six that is fantastic i'm getting a lot of sms's of students who got the 84 comma two one i am so proud of you 